What's up, what's up? This is Garrick and I'm back with another video. And I am so excited y'all because guess what? I have a new microphone that it just came in. So over the next couple videos, I should be getting a sound upgrade so I can provide you all with more quality content. So I'm really pretty excited about that. Nothing major, but it's kind of major to me. So, but we're gonna jump right in. So today, we are trying to save you some money. We're gonna try doing a swipe on a super thin pillow. So we're gonna mix it. We're gonna mix our pillow with a lot of water and some Floetrol and Floate and see what happens. All right, so these are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using to make my pillow paint. We have our US Floetrol. We have our Artist Law Flow Acrylic. This is found at Michael's. This is our Flow Medium. This is Master's Touch. And this is found at Hobby Lobby. And lastly, we have our silicone stir stick and our cup to mix our paint. All right, so I am doing this on the go as in I am not using a particular recipe because I have not done this that often to actually have a recipe. So everything is going off of feel and flow and sight. All right, so I have this much of the artist flow right here. I'm gonna add in my flow trawl. So I added about two times the amount of paint and I'm gonna stir really quickly. So I'm gonna add just a few drops of flow aid. Well, more than a few drops, but um, about three squirts of flow, flow aid. And I'm just gonna mix more and more. So I know that you all would probably like to see me pour on that big two foot canvas that I was mixing the paint up on, but I'm not, cause this is an experiment, but we are gonna scale it down a little bit and I'm gonna try this four by 12. Um, but if this goes well, or at least decent, I will do the bigger piece. So today we're going to swipe fluorescent pink, black, and gold. We're gonna lay down our pillow. And as you see, I mean, it pours out. As you can see, our paint is kind of, yeah, kind of mixing in with the pillow because the pillow is so thin. So I may have thinned it out just a tad too much, but this is why we experiment. Adding my CA to my swipe tool. All right, we are gonna see what happens. What a reaction. Okay. Wow. So, as you can see, we have cells all over the place. I'm gonna do just a little bit of tilting. Um, the colors mix beautifully. Let me bring you out. Let me bring you guys in for a close up. The black um, definitely took over. So, I'm gonna tilt. You can see this paint is moving. Okay. 
Now, are these cells going to hold up? I have no clue. As you can see, I'm losing my cells here, but it's actually really beautiful. And because I have my cells here, this doesn't look so bad. So we're going to see what happens as this thing dries out. Look at the definition. Look at the flow. I'm going to bring you guys closer for some swipage. <laughs> okay, see a couple air bubbles, so I'm going to do a quick blow. Okay, here we go. All right, once again, I take my swipe tool and I'm at an angle and I go in at an angle and I flatten out and I just pull it. So angle. Flat pool. All right, look at there. Sales glory. What do you think? A little touch up on that corner, but I can manage that. But look, y'all, the colors, look how watery our pillow was, but look how defined our color stayed. And oh, that black is just spectacular. Um, So this is pour number two, and this is pour number one. So we're gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna go over some tips and tricks and pros and cons to all of this. Thank you.